Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the loading episode of Peak Week. So, like we said, two videos, three videos, depletion, loading, show day. So, we'll get all three out. Pretty much about to get into meal one now. So, just jumped on the scale 75.8, I think it was. Um, took some photos over there uh, for Michael sent them over to him um, and now we're about to get in meal one. So we've got all the water weighed out, a couple extra things here and there. Uh, no supplementation today other than I think a pump product when I train. What I'm gonna do is eat meal one, go for a walk, get a coffee, come back, start work and just go for walks after meals. Step count isn't really a priority today. We're just gonna do about a K or so after every meal, see how it goes. Um, just to aid in digestion, that's about it. That's the main point. So first meal, you'll see. You'll see in a second. I love the fucking peace, don't I? Jesus Christ. Okay, so meal one is going in. So we have 400 mils of water, 100 grams of pineapple, 60 grams of rice cakes, which is roughly seven, 10 grams of dark chocolate, 90%, and 150 grams of egg whites. Um, and there's also 20 grams of honey spread across all those rice cakes and the pineapple. I think I said 400 mils of water. And then we'll be having one of these in between this meal and the next meal. Focus. Looks quite disgusting. Um, that is essentially, um, it's a product by supplement needs called H2 out. So the idea is you use it for diuresis. Um, it's just to flush a little bit of water. Top level coaches are using it, like people like Joe Jeffrey, um, Dean St. Mart. You know, we gather a lot of data from them. Michael had a bit of a chat with them just to make sure we were using it correctly. Um, so we're going to try it for this peak and see if it works. If it doesn't work, we're not really stressed. It just means we don't use it next time. But if it works, beautiful. So 400 mils of water here, then that'll be 400 mils of water between the meals. So it's 800 waters, 800 mils of water between each meal. So I'm doing about four liters of water across the day. Um, I think I'm doing five meals plus an intra. Might be six meals, I don't know, I can't remember. Uh, most of the meals look very much like this though. So, um, yeah, I'll put macros up on the screen, whatever. And you can see the macros there. I'm not gonna work them out, but I'll get the editor to put that up there. But yeah, nonetheless, we're gonna sit down in front of the TV and watch a video, and we're gonna eat and enjoy some carbs. So, ooh, next meal going down, very similar. Oh, don't wanna do that because the light will me up. Uh, next meal going down, very similar to the last meal. The only difference is uh, egg whites is now fish, white fish, um, but we'll flick it around and we'll show you. So um, this meal is going, oh, let me just do this so I can sort of get it. Uh, so we got 100 grams of pineapple, bit of honey on that as well. Uh, we got 60 grams of rice cakes again. There's 20 grams of honey in the whole meal. Um, 10 grams dark chocolate, 150 grams of white fish gonna be very disgusting because there's pretty much nothing on it other than a little bit of salt. Obviously water intake, so water intake again, uh, 800 mils with every meal, well, in between every meal essentially, I just sip on it. Um, usually I'm doing about 300 mils prior to the meal. So like while I'm cooking it, putting it all together, I'll drink the 300 mils. Um, then I'll drink 300 mils with the meal and then I'm gonna sip on 200 mil mils like between the meal, give or take. I'll probably sip on 300 mils between the meal. I don't really like drinking too much water with the meal. Um, if you're wondering why I'm doing rice cake, so the idea is I I don't respond, well, what we found is I don't respond super well to water um, with these meals and I sort of, and I just soak it in and I sort of hold it really bad. Um, so the idea with rice cakes is, is to go with something that's like a drier carbohydrate um, opposed to doing like white rice cooked or cream rice or something like that. So um, that's the idea behind the rice cake. So we'll be hammering rice cakes at the moment. I think I got like, if I open the cupboard here, you'll see, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but there is lots of rice cakes in there. Um, so yeah, that's that's sort of the, the plan of attack there. But nonetheless, macros, boom. I don't know, I can't remember now, fuck me. Prep is killing me. Can't remember if I said I'm gonna put the macros and stuff on the screen or not, but um, macros, boom, I guess. Um, I'm gonna sit down, watch a video. I like to sit down and relax, enjoy these meals. So we're gonna get that down. Um, yeah, enjoy it. 
And then a little bit of walking after the meal as well. Digestion. Digestion walk, nutrition partitioning. That's the plan. Wait a little bit, probably about 30, 40 minutes. Then we're going to get some clips from Michael um, of how I'm looking. Get my scale weight as well, how I'm looking. Um, and then go from there. I think I weighed like 76 point... I can't remember. 76... I was 75.8, I think I said this morning, or 75.7. And I was about 76 point something after that first meal. Um, there wasn't really noticeable change in the physique. Didn't look much fuller. Makes sense. Um, but we'll notice later on when we have a pump and all that kind of thing as well. So... I'm going to eat this meal, enjoy it nice and slow, enjoy the digestion and just work. I'm working, still doing all my client check-ins, business as usual. Um, nothing changes there. Okay, so next meal going down, it's one o'clock. What have we got? Very boring meal, very brown, very brown. Uh, we're going to chuck on a YouTube video because that's what I've done for all these meals. I've sat down at eight, doing about 10 minutes on the walking pad on a level four, so not too many steps. So, so far today I've done... 4K steps, so uh, I think I'm gonna be at like 10 by the end of the day. Um, after every meal, do about a thousand. I'm gonna run some errands as well. Um, when I go to the gym too, um, I'll probably just walk on the treadmill for a bit prior to the session, walk on the treadmill for a bit after the session. But one of the things that we've noticed today, so obviously I haven't had many simple carbs, um, well, supposedly as simple as this. So what actually happened was in my last meal prior to it, I was feeling a little bit off. Uh, a bit weak at the knees, feeling a little bit weak at the joints, like a little bit lightheaded and well, not really that lightheaded, but like just felt a little bit off. Checked my blood sugar. Um, I was, I'd, I'd had some of my meal, um, some of the carbs, probably gotten about halfway through it. Checked my blood sugar, it was only 4.2 after simple carbs. Um, just checked it then prior to this meal, it was 3.6. Um, so me and Michael just had a quick chat. We just reckon it's because I haven't had the carbs this simple in such a hot minute especially because I'm not really having it with any fiber or anything like that either. Um, so we do just have to be careful of that. But so far, I'm, I'm pretty aware of it, which makes it good. So um, obviously, I'm not stupid. I'm a coach myself. I understand these things. I've prepped before, prepped clients. Um, so we just got to be careful. But I think I should be fine. We might add sweet potato to the last meal just to make sure it's something that's a little bit lower GI. But nonetheless, this meal. So we got 150 grams of chicken breast mince, uh, 60 grams of rice cakes, 20 grams of honey. We got 10 grams of dark chocolate and 100 grams of banana in this one instead of the pineapple. So um, that's this meal, simple, effective, very, again, very brown. Um, I've had about 100 mils of water of my next 800 mils. Then I'll do 100 now. I'm gonna do, so 200 with the meal. I'll do 200 um, just to sip through the next couple of hours. Um, and then I've got to do another 400 mils of the H2 out little mixture thing um, that we've got going there. So. Um, this will be this meal. My next meal will be like my pre-workout meal. I think I'll be eating it in my car because I've got to go to the old house um, and there's carpet cleaners coming and just a whole bunch of shit. So I need to be there for them. Um, so I'll carry that meal with me, put it in the car. Um, and then I think we should be good to go. Otherwise there's training. I've got intra, then I have my post-workout meal. Michael's going to look at me obviously at training because he's coming, uh, me and James Lay. We'll be training together uh, with Michael, obviously telling us what to do, telling us to move around, so on and so forth. Um, we'll get some clips of that. And we should be good to go. So I'll catch you at the next meal. Okay, so this portion is being filmed on my phone, not on the camera, just because I am on the go a little bit. Uh, like I said, I had to go to the old house and do a few things and just do a whole bunch of errands. So it's four o'clock. It's actually quarter past four right now. Um, and the next meal is going in. So the next meal is exactly the same. So we got the rice cakes, there's honey, uh, there's banana and there's dark chocolate in there. I literally just crushed everything up, mashed everything up and put it in the container because just for ease of convenience and being able to eat now. Uh, the beef uh, chicken mince is there as well. So it's the exact same meal, no changes. Um, it's the same as the last meal. We're gonna smash this down. We're training at 5.30. Um, so I'm gonna eat this meal, go for a bit of a walk, 10 minute walk just outside. Um, it's a nice day today, so it's definitely worth going for a walk outside anyway. And then we should be done. I'm actually working from my car at the moment so just while i'm like sitting around doing shit so i was doing some work on my laptop if eva sabatino is watching this i doubt she is or maybe she is who knows um i was just doing a check-in in the car and i made a gag that i was living out of my car and not out of the new house because i'm an idiot but nonetheless get this in um and then next clip will be at the gym baby oh yeah an intra workout you'll see intra workout at the gym as well so that's another thing that's going in so didn't film any training or intra, so intra was 250 mils of pomegranate juice um, and also the 
I know I got that in the car, didn't I? Um, so didn't film any of the training. Me and James just sort of flowed into it, had a good chat while we we're doing it. Um, it was one of those like intimate sessions, you know, where you don't really want to fucking get the camera out or anything like that. Not that James really would have given a shit if I did, but um, it's not the point. So um, got the session done, just got home, about to get my last meal in. Um, I'm probably going to wrap the video here. So my last meal is 100 grams of gluten-free rice bubbles. Uh, 200 grams of salmon, uh, 100 grams of asparagus, 100 grams of pineapple, 20 grams of honey, um, and then we're wrapped for the day. Um, chill out, go to bed, get some more posing to Michael, um, and then we should be good to go. So I'll see you tomorrow for the rest of the load. Good morning, everyone. So it's about 6.30 in the morning right now. Um, Alana's currently sleeping, so I don't want to talk too loud, but um, really good day. Efficient day last night. Uh, what I'll do is I'll pop a photo of my last shots that I sent to Michael here. Um, it was quite full. So the idea last night, we actually ended up tapering in 50 grams more of rice bubbles and 10 grams of dark chocolate just before bed. Um, just did about four rounds of posing after that. Um, and then... Went straight to bed, uh, slept a little bit average last night. Um, the product, the H2 Out product that I am using um, does have caffeine in it. I think that did really disrupt my sleep last night. Um, but the look this morning is still pretty good, so I'm not overly upset. Um, what I'm going to do now is I think I'm just going to jump in the car. I might just go get a coffee. I'm just going to drive down to like a McDonald's or something like that, get a nice long black, come back get me a one in hopefully by then Alana's up so I can talk a little bit louder um but yeah we're gonna jump into this loading day two um and then get after the rest of the day it's cool so we're getting me a one in got my ice long black 100 grams of pineapple 10 grams of 90 percent dark chocolate my water we got 70 grams of rice cakes today, 25 grams of honey, 150 grams of egg whites. That's it, you're one, going in. Just gonna have some Anthony Mantello. Three days out, on. when it loads, there we go. You wanna watch that? Enjoy this meal. Okay, so next meal about to go in. Um, business as usual, 70 grams of rice cakes, 25 grams of honey. 100 grams of pineapple, and we've also got cooking up in the oven. Oh, fucked me up. Anyway, there's 150 grams of fish in there. So, just white fish. I'm gonna have to wipe that lens down. Yes, I am, sir. Thank you very much. Um, then we'll have this meal, obviously 800 mils of water. Um, then 12, 30, 10. Got to go to Iron Kingdom Ringwood, and then one o'clock is another meal, so I might have to make that meal before I go so I can eat it when I get there. It's a little, it depends how long the tan takes. I'm gonna get there early, because sometimes if you get there early, they're like, oh, you can start early, and then you get to leave early, so um, I'll probably attempt to do that. But as usual, just ticking away. A little bit more food today, obviously, in these earlier meals, but my fight, like I said, I think I said this earlier. Fuck, I'm really bad at this. Um, I think I said this earlier. My final meal of the day, there's no carbs in it. My first meal of the day tomorrow, there's no carbs in it. And then my second meal, like two hours prior to stage or whatever it is, um, we'll have a little bit of carbs in it. Then we'll just top up if we need to. So um, I tend to find that midsection and everything tightens up when I don't have carbs in or anything like that, which makes sense. You're not holding as much water. There's less stomach distension. There's less, GI, less in the GI tract as well. Um, so that's sort of the plan there. Um, but I guess I'll next could probably be at the 10. Okay, so, uh, ju oh, is that going to hold? Is that going to stay? Probably not. Uh, I'm just going to hold it here anyway. So, uh, in the car, you're about to head off to get the tan. So, um, it's about a 30 minute drive. My appointment's at 12.30, so it shouldn't take me too long to get there. Um, I should be there on time. I should be there right on time. So, we're going to get that done, get the tan in, be nice and dark. Come back, uh, we'll probably eat the meal, next meal in the car here as well because, um, I'm going to eat at 1 o'clock. My tan's at 12.30. By the time it wraps up, eat a meal. Should be good to go. So, I'll see you when I'm nice and dark. Peace. And that is a wrap. Nice and tanned now. Got that colour. Oosh. 
Uh, now we're just gonna sit and eat in the car. So, uh, pretty much same meal as yesterday. I feel like I'm being slack and not showing you the meals, uh, but it's 70 grams of rice cakes, uh, 100 grams of banana, 150 grams of chicken breast mince, 10 grams of dark chocolate, 25 grams of honey. We get it down, then we're gonna drive home and chill out for the rest of the night. Yeehaw. Tan on. Can't even see. Um, next meal, going in. Love these angles. Um, pretty stock standard stuff. Let's let's have a squeeze for you. 70 grams of rice cakes, 100 grams of banana. Let's focus here. 25 grams of honey, chicken breast mince, water, and the famous, what do they call it? Oh my God, diuretic drink, H2O out. Fire out, got there eventually. I'm stupid tanned. Um, but this is the last carb meal for the day. So, um, carbs pulled. Um, I also had dark chocolate there as well, I already ate it though. Um, carbs pulled for the day. Uh, so this next meal, no carbs. At seven o'clock we'll have that. Um, there'll be another meal tomorrow morning, no carbs. Uh, and then the meal like pre, pre-workout or pre-stage meal is at 10 o'clock. That has a little bit of carbs. Uh, the only reason we do that is because I tighten up quite nice. So Michael's actually coming here tonight. So I'm gonna see him. He'll assess the look. If we wanna put in carbs, we're gonna put them in. Um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned last night, we put in an extra 50 grams of rice bubbles uh, prior to bed as well. So that was another thing that I forgot to mention. So put in 50 grams of rice bubbles, extra 10 grams of dark chocolate. Um, so we got a little bit of extra, extra calories or carbohydrates there. Um, but I don't think we're gonna put in any more carbs now. We sort of got to dry out. Um, with a tan on, I look really washed out. So, um, I know when you're on stage, the lights and the oil and this and that, and it'll all be fine. Um, but you know, it sort of passes me out mentally. You know, it's like anybody, man. People think it's like I'm bulletproof, but man, I pass out just like any other competitor. So, get these last little bit of carbs in, walk, chill out, feed up, good to go. See you at the next meal.